so we got this in. Keep the noise out over there, mate. Good morning, afternoon, good night, wherever you guys are. Welcome back. So today we're pretty much gonna go and have a look at the damage on what I did to this engine in the drift car. Uh, basically at the, the last round at Archie that we did, the competition there. Um, I just want to, oh, just look at this beauty. Oh. It's, got the, it's got the Rajab stock sock, half built sock, big turbo. No, no, no and the broken sock. So we're gonna pull it apart, see what's wrong. See what's the damage. All right, so um, we actually started the time lapse and being as any other normal thing that you ever do when you decide to touch a car, let's drop the eight mil, uh, you gotta look for tools. So I started and then I went to look for tools and then about 20 minutes later, finally got the tools. So we're gonna get into it. So check this out, I took the tensioner out and that's oil and that is E85. There's like so much E85 in amongst that. That is strange, I've never even, even E85 could do that. That's really weird. Random fact, but yeah, oil and E85. And it literally all just came out of there. That's insane. But we're pretty much better rip the head off the dog. So uh I'm gonna do that. ARP, they're not ARP. Bow springs, they're gonna come out and go on the new motor. never been off. The piston should be pretty bad. Get it down on the green. Not, not actually that bad, but there we go. Look at it. We're on. So I actually expected far more damage underneath here. Like honestly, for how much blow by this thing had. It was a chimney. I was actually expecting, you know, there's a bit of shoot down the side there. I don't know if we can, you can see the piston ring there, that little silver thing. So it's not great, but honestly, honestly, look, these motors are amazing. Like this thing has, I have cooked this motor several times. If you've been on our Instagram page, there's a, a little snippet of me doing a foot on. Now I did that foot on, the washer bottle completely melted and there was no water in that thing. And this was the engine. This was before I turboed it. It was copping that. So honestly, like, these motors are damn, like, it's obviously gonna need a rebuild. The head still looks pretty fine. Like, honestly, this thing was over boosting bad. And it's not even, like, this is, yeah, literally, Three, three hundred and like something thousand, like eighty thousand, like when I when I started with it. So that's still that's all pretty alright. Guessing this was this was uh, these ones are a bit dry. That one's a bit more dry. That one's alright. That one's a bit oily. So I'm guessing you get something going on there a bit more. Um, 
and we'll pull off the conrod bearing and suss that out. But the head actually looked pretty damn good. I'm, I am uh, my uncle actually. Um, he had a motor, a U motor or EF motor, put in. Blake didn't know what he was doing tuning it, and um, like melted holes in the piston. So the fact that this is running that stock ECU and it's done its thing, what the heck? All right, so I'm gonna get to this bearing. Right, so we're now at the point where the, the head is there, yes, and then this is kind of the issue. Not too good, very bad. So what we're gonna do is unbolt it. So obviously number one's copped the most. I don't really know why one copped this, the most of it. Maybe from like a fuel, and uh, not a fuel, a bit too much oil slushing. Uh, or low. Either way, broken. We're undoing his door. And uh, get the, the piston out and have a gaze on it. My bench has kind of got full, but that's the right. Oh, she's going to be a long way down, but this is the wrong, wrong hammer. I'll be back. The stud almost slowed down. Well, let's have a. Oh, it hasn't. Oh, has it fully spun it? I don't know if it's fully spun it. I'll get my precision light blade. Bit dirty. That should be right. Oh, she's a. Oh, oh. How's your father? Oh man, that is thin. That is damn thin, like. Give me one one moment, clean it up for the camera. Oh wow, that is, that is squashed. So my main thing, what I was saying a few episodes back, was the boost is actually squashing the bearing. So that is damn nasty. That is not what you want. And I'm like, what we'll do is I'll take out number six. Is that one still seems to be in good order? Either way, we're going to rebuild this whole thing, so it's what we're going to do. Oh, that one almost fell out. So, yeah, look, that bearing is got a bit of scoring, but that's that's actually pretty good. Kind of strange. I, I think that's what's actually happened is literally number one's run out of oil. And uh, left the building. Oh, right, put it. So that is. Well, that that's already that's a problem. The fact that that goes inside. That is very bad. And very squashed out. Like look at it. It's literally. That is squashed. So yeah, literally the. the I think the main thing over boosting, hot oil. Is a bad time. Very bad time. I'm gonna pop the uh, piston on in. We're gonna look at the piston. I actually not have. I have not pulled a falcon piston out in a long time. But that's um, oh oh hey, that's unexpected. There you go. It's actually we've actually cracked the pistons. I did not. There goes the pistion. Yeah, right. Well, that'll explain the heavy blow by. That'll damn do it. Oh! And my, you want pistion? So, yes. This is funny actually because none of us even guessed that would be the problem. I found the issue, boys. What? What was it? <clears throat> Well, apparently... Oh, apparently that does not work. Apparently the piston... Yes. It doesn't work like that. Well, it worked. It did, but... Also, not. the bearing very squashed. So... Oh, jeez. If you... If some of you are watching, I, I'll comment pretty often on the, um... It's like, 
turbo sock motors page and people asking how much power and how much boost and blah 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 and i always say to people 15 pound good 17 starts getting bad and I, I think this is why so obviously like you guys seen probably a couple episodes ago reason we changed this we found the reason was the wastegate got stuck jammed open so holy dooly that that's the whole ring list. I've never cracked that far on a ringland. Look at that! <laughs> like I've I've broken a few pistons in my life. I cannot believe that that is almost half the whole ringland gone. So there you go, 17 psi. Probably with the tune, it'd probably be alright. But um, as that, I'm, I'm actually like, wow. What do you reckon, Quinton? You broke it. We found the problem. That's why it was a chimney out the catch can. Like, we are on the side of the highway, and I was like, man, right, she's okay. hurting. So, hey. that there, but a bad. Get the stronger one. Yeah, and it looked funny. You think, from the top, it, it really didn't look that bad. Like, that from the top, I was like, oh, that's actually not bad. Like, why does it have that much bye bye? Ah. I found the problem. That's Broken. So look, that's it. I think what we're going to do is I've got Benny from Precise. Probably honestly going to give him this block and we'll probably might go some like D-stroke. I want to do, I really want to do a D-stroke. So it's going to rev and sound off its off its head. So I want to go that route, but uh, we'll see. I think that's a route once we get the, the ECU in and start saving some engines because frankly, I'm sick of changing motors. Like, there's one, two, there's three, three dead motors, and I'm like, nah, let's stop out of that. So, huh? broken. Don't go more than 17 pound on your sock. Oh yeah, another thing. This was very close to just whole timing chain imploding. That's broken, like that, that holds your timing chain. Like I am, there's been a few guys that I have, I've had come through and they've, snap the like timing gear and i've always wondered how the heck well zet is bad it's pretty close actually honestly i love these motors 25 30 i just love them so good but i don't know there's just like a different something about these like the, the bolts are huge for one like they're huge boys we needed that massive bar to undo it we needed to have like this special socket to like to get stripped bolts so we didn't strip them like just cra and that's standard like that head gasket looks fine and that's a stock head gasket like honestly i cannot believe the amount of durability that comes out of these like this is like 20 years old and it's been overheated so many times i don't know what you more you want from an engine but damn, these things are good. Particularly the BCT ones. I don't know, they're just like a bit more tinkered. I don't know. I don't know if that's an actual thing. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Um, now we all know what happened. I mean, you might care, you might not give a damn. But I think this just shows that we need to upgrade some components. Oddly, these haven't snapped. I'm a bit disappointed. But it's all right. We'll see you in the next one. We're coming back for the 31. Uh, hopefully that is all. It's gonna look sick, so. For now, you get this. Have a good one, guys. I almost forgot, guys. <laughs>